the federal electric vehicle tax credit is in danger. Tesla invites you to chill, and secret bonus number three is revealed for the Tesla referral program. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 319 for November 6, 2017. Firstly, I want to kick off by thanking the several folks telling me that the part of Elon's speech on the battery module I couldn't understand was man years. Hearing it now, it seems pretty obvious, but for reasons unknown, I couldn't suss it out at the time. Thanks to everyone that wrote me. Now on to the rest of the show. In a move that is somewhat shocking, it appears that the Federal Electric Vehicle Tax Incentive in the U.S. may be in jeopardy. Electrek brings us the incredibly unfortunate news that folks may not have to fret about the number of cars delivered in the U.S. at all. The government has a bill on deck that would simply remove the credit entirely following this year. Here in the U.S., part of President Trump's platform was tax reform, and apparently part of that will involve the removal of the credit. A bill introduced in the House of Representatives would immediately end the program as of December 31st, rather than allowing it to phase out naturally as the program already dictates. The good news is that there does appear to be some fairly solid resistance to the plan related to other parts of the bill, but as we all know with politics, nothing is ever certain. So this is most certainly a get out and contact your representative and senator situation. And obviously this is not a problem unique to Tesla, so if you have other friends who may be interested in an EV other than a Tesla, let them know as well as they'll be equally affected. You can find your representative by going to www.house.gov and entering your zip code in the top right. You can find your senators by heading to www.senate.gov and selecting your state from the drop down up top. Sticking with Electrek, they found a new software release that gives us a long-promised feature, and one that we didn't know was coming. If you hop into the Wayback Machine, you'll remember that back in episode 238 on May 24th, and then reiterated in episode 285, Elon mentioned a feature that would auto-retract the steering wheel and move the seat back when putting the car in park, and then return it when you re-entered the car. He said then, quote, All Model S and X cars will have an auto-raise and lower function for the steering wheel in a few months, end quote. In typical Elon time, his few months turn into six of them, but finally, the feature is out in the world. It can be enabled by going to Settings, Driver Profiles, and marking the Use Easy Entry checkbox on the driver profile that you wish to enable it for. In addition to this, if you're a more conservative driver, and maybe you don't like the next snapping acceleration of your Tesla, you now have a new acceleration mode available entitled Chill. From the release notes, quote, You can now choose between two acceleration options in your vehicle, chill and standard. Chill makes acceleration more gradual, ideal for smoother driving and a gentler ride for your passengers, end quote. The update is making its way to the fleet now, so be on the lookout for update 2017.44 that contains the features. Courtesy of Teslarati, we now know what you referral maniacs can receive if you can net 20 referrals before the year is out. The lucky folks receive an invite to see the brand new SpaceX Falcon Heavy make its maiden voyage. Or if Elon's words of caution come to fruition, it's maiden explosion. Regardless of the result, those lucky enough to attend will be able to see something pretty spectacular. If I understand the heavy correctly, it's essentially three Falcon 9s strapped together, and all three boosters would attempt to land, which would be an amazing feat. So get referring, and good luck. Lastly tonight, I wanted to direct your attention to a charity event. I've been a part of the Extra Life charity for five years now, and always enjoy doing it every year. For those unfamiliar, Extra Life is a charity that helps provide hospitals with equipment and distractions geared specifically to sick children. The idea is that gamers all over the world will come together for a 24-hour gaming marathon to bring attention to the fundraising, and usually stream it online as well. I'm a little late to the game this year, pun fully intended there, as the official weekend was this past one. However, the idea is to be able to fit it into your schedule at any time, and so I am. I and the rest of the Tesla Tidbits team joining me will be gaming on December 2nd, and since we're old men, we're going from 8am until whenever we can go until, but we're guaranteeing at least 12 midnight. I sincerely hope anyone hearing my voice will consider a donation, as it goes to quite the worthy cause. Our team goal as a whole is a modest $1,000. I hope you all can help us smash it. You can reach my donation page at bit.ly slash tt-el2017. That's bit.ly slash tt-el2017. Thanks in advance for all the support you can provide. 
Make sure you check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks as always to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, John Rich, and Joey Boots for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Be sure to show your love on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet, or use the show referral code ts.la slash jon4602 if you're in the market for a new Tesla. It'll get you free supercharging for the life of the vehicle. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.